Hey guys, this is John with John's Breakfast Club and in today's episode I want to discuss a modification I've done to my shirt which I think everyone should consider doing to their shirts. So yesterday I bought myself a new dress shirt and since my philosophy is to be effective and sustainable I made sure to buy an off-the-rack shirt from a brand I've fallen in love with and I really like. So there are a number of reasons why I love off-the-rack shirts. The first reason is that they are off the rack, so you can sort of like have it immediately. If you buy a tailored shirt, that can often take several weeks delivery. The second reason why I love off the rack shirts is because what you see is what you get. You can try on a test shirt in the store and you can see how the fit is. And the third reason why I love off the rack shirts is because the price is modest compared to most tailored or customized shirts. But when it comes to off the rack shirts, there are one aspect of it I always customize. Now most manufacturers of off the rack shirts, they usually provide shirts in a range of different fits and sizes, right? So you have the color size for my sake, that's a 39. Uh, and you also have the body like fit, uh, ranging from, from comfortable fit to a regular fit to a fitted shirt or a slim fit shirt. The length of the shirt is usually uniform for all their different fits and you want to buy an off the rack shirt that has a long uh, length so it's easy to tuck into your pants and keep tucked throughout the day. One other thing though you also want to make sure is that the sleeve length is long enough and if you buy high quality off the rack shirts the sleeves are often too long. Hmm, yeah that's right. The thing is that with most off the rack shirts, you actually have to shorten the sleeves. And that's the modification I want to talk about in this episode. You see, when you wear a dress shirt, a nice fitted shirt should have a cuff that hits the bone on your wrist. In other words, if you wear a jacket over your shirt, about half an inch, one or two centimeters of the cuff should be visible, no more. Now that's a problem with most off the rack shirts because they are tailored, well, they are manufactured to have too long sleeves. So if you just buy an off the rack shirt that otherwise fits very nicely, the sleeves will usually be too long and too much will be protruding beneath your shirt jacket or covering too much of your wrist. But the good thing is this, that shirt sleeves are super easy to shorten. I, for example, had to shorten my shirt sleeves a couple, I think it was two or three centimeters when I bought like an inch when I bought it and they did it in store by the in-store tailor and I think it cost me about 25 bucks. So the price is well worth it. Now how much you do have to shorten your sleeve length depends on your body of course, but the in-store tailor will take the necessary measurements and figure this out for you. I didn't have anything to say or do with the measurements I just asked him, could you please shorten my sleeves? And he said yes, and he figured out how much I had to shorten it. Now I think this small but significant customization that I do to all my dress shirt sleeves are gold. And I hope you think so too. Now if you want to be the first to get notifications about tips like this, I suggest you check out my Facebook group, Effective and Sustainable Style. That's also where you can interact with me directly, where you can share tips, feedback and questions with fellow members, and we will get access, as I said, to content just like this and more 14 days before anywhere else on the internet. I'm John Bowmore, a style coach for professional communicators, and I'll see you in the next one.